So this question says a certain recipe requires three halves cups of sugar and makes two dozen cookies. And then we're told that one dozen is equal to 12. So three halves cups, right? So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna have a sugar column. We know that there's three halves cups required and I'm gonna have a cookies column. And we know we get two dozen from that, okay. So quantity A here says the amount of sugar required for the same recipe to make 30 cookies. Okay, so first thing I notice is we're not dealing with the unit dozens. So I'm gonna cross this two dozen out and instead I'm gonna write 24 cookies, right? Because you know two dozen, one dozen is 12, so two dozen is 24. So no, I know that my relationship is really between three half cups gets me to 24 cookies. And because I am looking to figure out how much sugar, right? So in essence, I'm saying, well, X cups of sugar should get me to 30 cookies, right? So let's see. I need to make a relationship here. So the relationship I'm going to, I'm going to make is I'm going to say, well, 3 halves to 24 as a ratio should be equal to X, right? This unknown amount of sugar to 30, 30 cookies. Now, I don't like the math here. I, I can do the math there. But let's turn it instead to the decimal form, right? So 1.5 over 24 is equal to x over 30, right? 3 halves is the same as 1.5. I can now cross multiply this. And um, I'd get 24x is equal to 1.5 times 30, which is 45. Divide by 24, divide by 24. Right? You can throw this into the calculator for your, you know, the calculator that you have provided for you for this test, and you'll see that 45 divided by 24 is 1.875. So this quantity A is really 1.875. Quantity B is 2 cups, which means that quantity B is greater than quantity A, and therefore our answer here is the second option.